So today we're going to look at installing a new electric winch. So what I've done so far is remove the headliner. Uh, the headliner comes out with uh, just removing these screws through here. Uh, this is the cable that was run from the factory that's uh, been sitting up in here. Uh, and this will be attached to the winch. Um, this actually cable goes right through to the, where the um, isolator switches are and uh, will be actually put in parallel with the electric windlass at the front so it'll use the same switch uh, very rarely would you be using the both winches at the same time so you can run them off the same uh, circuit breaker so that's already been run uh, it runs through here through the top here and then down into this side cabinet the hard part is going from underneath here all the way through to where the isolator switches are that's a lot of fun so i'm not going to show that in this video uh, this is what i need to remove now so what we've got this is the old winch so it's still in place manual winch um, we're going to have to unscrew these this is actually uh, fully laminated here um, so you can see here this is where the high density uh, foam is and then where winch pads are, both here and here, uh, we're going to solid glass. So what I'm going to do now is um, we'll undo these. Uh, pull the old winch off. Uh, sadly, I can't use these holes. So I'm going to have to turn the winch around slightly because the motor has to sit here and come down through this side. If I, go to, if I use these original ones, holes here, the motor is too far across and uh, even if I cut out this entire side headliner uh, it still doesn't fit so I have to drill new holes. I also have to drill a, a massive big hole through here which is the, sp uh, the spline that comes down through it. So we'll get that done and then there's a whole cover that will go over this. Uh, this is the cover here. Um, this cover still needs to be straight out of the mold basically, so it needs to be trimmed. Uh, but it, there'll be a headliner above this, so this actually goes in here, it needs to be trimmed to fit, and then it will um, cover the winch, uh, and I'll just run a bit of uh, flex around the sides once it's been trimmed to fit, uh, and it'll be waterproof as well, and it screws up into the headliner. What I need to do that is add a little bit of trim just along here, that I can screw into uh, here. You can you can see where the trim has already been added that you screw into. So it's always interesting when you pull out the headliner of a boat because you can see how it's built uh, and you can see what sort of quality they've got into it. And uh, you can definitely see here this laminate. It's pretty good. All right, let's go uh, remove the top winch. I was just about to disassemble the winch. This one here. Um, so it's pretty easy to do but I'm not going to do it because <laughs> it looks like it's about to pour down rain so if you look over there that was going to show but massive ma massive thunderstorm coming so I might go back inside and um, watch some TV wait for the storm to pass Well, the sun's back out, so it looks like the storm's gone. So now we can uh, disassemble the winch.
Okay, ready for the next one? best part of the day but I'm getting closer I've now installed the switch for the winch um, remove the old one um, basically just going through and testing that this all lines up and that this lines up with uh, this inside of where the electric motor which is down there has to go along that spline one more hole to drill here ready to go. There's actually a fair bit of work in doing this. Um, it, you don't have a lot of room and there's only a certain way that you can line this up. So basically in that configuration there now, that lines up parallel on the inside uh, where the electric motor goes. So drill one more hole and then it's ready to stick a flex and bolt down. So what will happen after that is bolted down is uh, this fella will go on there something like that. Um, obviously it's all going to line up yeah. So uh, that'll line up. There's a cowling that goes on here. You can see it's lined up in there. So the spline will come up here. Um, gears will go on here. And then it becomes an electric winch. So just go down and show the inside. Man, when you're working on boats, you make a mess. So we've got our cabling coming through. Uh, this is actually going to a solenoid, which activates the larger cable, which is a switch. Um, there it's going through there. Obviously, it's not bolted in yet, so just about to seek and flex it down, bolt it in, uh, and then. This will bolt on on the underside. The switch components, the two white wires, it doesn't matter which one, um, here and here. Well, it's virtually all done. Um, now it's basically all we've got to do is um, wire up the 12 volt, and then what the next step would be to. Um, Put all the gears on, re-grease the whole block. Before I do all that, uh, I just want to clean this up a bit. Um, but also, what I need to do is, when the Sikaflex is dried, re-tighten. There's other screws beneath this, which go through the deck. And they need to be tightened up after the Sikaflex is dry. But overall, it's come out pretty good. Switch is on the side here. Just looking at this, this shows you the core of the deck. So this is the pad here, where all the hard fittings are attached. And you can see the core, it's massive. This is actually oh, be nearly two inches thick. It's um, pretty mega and it looks like it's uh, probably 20 mil ply and then it's another centimeter or so, maybe more than that, of um, different layers of fiberglass, wood and fiberglass. So quite a strong deck. So if you ever wonder what a sea wind is made out of the top, there it is. Um, here it's different, this is all foam, it's just this top section here is, is all like that and even when I drilled through to get the, the winch switch, it was still drilling through this stuff so you need a heavy, heavy duty, heavy duty drill So this hasn't been greased yet, this will be uh, greased and then all cleaned up and then we'll be good to go 
section is in here. So you can see now, this is all bolted in. Um, I just want to leave this on so I get access to do these bolts up further, which going into the deck, there's a flange here. This is really difficult to set up. Um, this flange, and then also there's another flange in here. Um, you've got to be ambidextrous to tighten these bolts up around the back. But overall, it's sitting pretty good. Um, there's a cover that'll go over here. I'll just wire up these switches and wire up the the tool bolt, and uh, she's good to go. Okay, well here's the install. Um, so far, we've got the winch set up. Uh, put the headliner back on. Uh, there's another headliner that goes over here and uh, so I'm just about to put it on now. Uh, first I'll test the winch, make sure it's working before I put this headliner on. Uh, it's just a small cover, goes over here and uh, fits in there to cover it all up. Uh, overall, that's what it looks like. Actually I had a bit of problems reading the diagram, so if you ever do this yourself uh, in the future, that is positive. Positive goes to a relay system. Um, you've got two um, other systems, there's actually three here. Um, this one isn't used at all. This is middle, is in negative. Um, so if you're wiring this up yourself later on, that's the setup of what it looks like. It's not an easy job, but it's not that difficult. It just takes a bit of time. This took about two days to do. Um, and I haven't got the cover on yet, so I'll get that on soon. Um, and then it'll all look nice and neat. Good. So the switch fully installed. Um, got the switch there. There's a cover. Leave it off like that. Um, the winch can still be run manually. So one speed and then slower speed. So it's still a two speed manual winch. Then of course if you want to um, not use the winch but go electric. Pretty sweet. Should make raising the main a lot easier when you're by yourself. Uh, the issue actually isn't the main is that heavy. Um, you can actually pull it up if you stand at the mast all the way by yourself. The issue is tailing, so you have to tail it because it's going through thro so many turning blocks. So uh, if you're actually at the mast, because it's two to one, it's really easy to pull the main up. But then you need someone down here to just tail it for you. So if you're by yourself, you can't do that. So that's why I've gone for the electric winch. Uh, you notice it's slightly higher than normal, so you can see it's raised. This pedal still here um, is about a, uh, three quarters of an inch higher than the other side, uh, and then this is here. Um, pretty, pretty easy. The top part to install. The main issue actually is down underneath, uh, and it's really in the alignment of the uh, motor, uh, so that it's parallel and you don't have to cut too much into the headliner to fit it. Apart from that. It's now fully installed.